One of the oldest buildings in Scott County sat vacant for more than a decade. The historic Scott County Jail closed its doors to prisoners in 2008. But the new owners of the building say the building is still very much alive. Do you not appreciate Zach and I in here? Whoa. Yo! Dude, what a devil. Seems like something's just walking away from me. My name is Zach. I've been to some of the most haunted places in America. I've had doors open in front of me. I've had doors slam when no one else is around. I've even walked the halls of Trans Allegheny, the most haunted destination in America. I've even jumped into Portal of Hell at Bobby Mackey's. Come with me as I take you on my haunted travels. Most of the time, alone. What was that? Oh my god! This is Ghostly Travels with Zach. Alright guys, we're at the Scout County Jail here in Huntsville, Tennessee. Here is the entrance. Um, there is a lot that's happened here. Uh, the Sheriff Richard Ellis was apparently shot right here at the door and murdered. They never actually found who did it. And it was because he was abolishing uh, moonshine. But Sheriff Richard Ellis is one that we tell every time the doors are open. He was elected sheriff in 1924 and in 1925 he was actually killed right outside the front door. He was a Baptist preacher and he was known to, he wanted to abolish moonshine in the area and make Scott County as dry as the Sahara. So he had been warned that if he went through with that, that he could potentially... So the moonshiners warned him if he kept trying to dry it up and take away their moonshine, that they would were, they were try to kill him. And they were successful and they were never caught. So here's just some relics. Actually, I think this stuff is actually real. But this is in the doorway. You got keys. Um, looks like they're mod or the. Oh, this is just talking about it. Um, in 1904, it was built. 1922, the third floor was added. And in 2008, it was officially closed. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you around a little bit, show you just some of the cool items that you have here, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Here's just some weapons, some shivs, things of that nature. There is other people here with me tonight. So you'll hear other voices. This is a pretty neat place. Look at all these patches, guys. It's pretty awesome. Again, this is just a walkthrough. So now we're going to head up to the second floor. Look at all this, guys. This is from inside the jail. We got Sally the kitty. Thank you, Sally. So, they got the inmate tattoos, gang related, um, different things they have maybe made. Here's an old bunk. I mean, they got everything here. Some jump outfits. I might have to put one of those on tonight. So this is kind of like the catwalk that the CEOs would walk to watch the inmates and uh, observe them and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing and not anything stupid. So let's go ahead and kind of just walk around here. Let me show you a little bit. Looks like there's some steps here so you can step over and um, 
The jails, this is, again, this is just the second floor. Or third floor, I apologize. This is just the third floor. Look at this. A lot of, a lot of Christianity everywhere. I per personally am a believer in Jesus. I am Christian. Um, this looks like this is supposed to be set up like an inmate cell would have been. So if you guys didn't know, I did used to be a CEO for about five years. Um, I've seen it all. I've done it all. Um, so this is kind of familiar to me. I've been in jails just like this. So um, I can relate to this. I can kind of see and kind of put myself back into that position. And maybe we can even get some activity because of that. Again, we are on the second floor. So I'm going to show you the second floor a little bit. Look at some of the stuff they had. Mining. So there was a big mining accident that happened. I don't know the exact year. Uh, when I do find it, I'll put it down in the description below and kind of explain it. It was called the Red Ash, or it was a city Red Ash. There's even a cemetery. I think it was either 46 people that perished or 64 coal miners that perished during that time. All right, guys, we are now going to head up to this third floor. This third floor again was built in 1922. We are now on the third floor and we're running into Kyle. Unbound destination. So his, his link will be down below. Go ahead and click it and subscribe to show him. you one of the cells and the graffiti that these inmates made. Here's just one of them. As you can see, this graffiti is everywhere. A lot of Jesus, a lot of Jesus everywhere. Again, this is still just the third floor. Looks like some artwork. Looks like some artwork from the inmates. Oh, look at this one. Look at this, guys. How would you like to take a, a scary dookie on that one? <laughs> Looks like inmates were acting a fool. Also here with Vince Keelan. He's kind of cool. Kind of kind of kidding. He also has a YouTube channel at Vince Keelan Urban Investigator. And he goes with me to places as well. We do have a place, uh, Perryville Battlefields coming up in a few months. Or next month. I don't know. I gotta look at my schedule. We were doing, so. Um so I'm pretty excited about that. And uh hope you can join and actually go subscribe to his channel as well. His link will be down below. Yep. Be a lot of fun. All right, guys, we're gonna head to the third floor. Kyle's on the second. Uh, they're on the first. Pierre on the first, and Vince is just chilling right now. So uh, let's see what we can capture with our equipment. All right, we are heading to the third floor. Um, this third floor can be scary, from what I hear. I'm pretty excited. I do not know if I'm the only one up here. I think I am. And uh, here we go. Oh, I am not the only one up here. <laughs> Anything? Yeah, we got a little yeah, back Yeah, we actually, here. we got some stuff in we the back cell. On. And then during the tour, they said there's like this old pervert guy. It's in the back cell with the woman sits with them. You get a lot of interactions. We hmm. got a little bit. Don't be, don't be surprised if someone's running at you down there. <laughs> oh, that's not cool. You sound so calm about it. What's up, spirits? My name is Zach. I'm not here to harm you, disrespect you, or anything. I just want to simply talk to you. I got some equipment out here. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, you want to let me know you're here? I've got a few things. Spirit box. Um, and a recorder. So I'd love to hear your voice. What do you think? Can you make a loud audible noise? Let me know you're here with me. So again, guys, there is other people here with me. So it is, it is an echoey gel. Just be aware of that.
Come talk to me. Come tell me your name. Come tell me what, who you are, what you're about. Please. Come talk to me. I'm not here to hurt you or nothing. This may, may or may not get wild, I hope it does. Again, I am up here alone right now. Can you come show me you're here? Come tell me hello. Is there something you'd like to tell me? You don't have to be afraid of me. We're going to bring this fancy meter out. Hopefully, I haven't had it go off yet. I'm hoping it does. Can you come stand down here, sit down here with me? Please? I can't? Why can't you? Are you in your cell? Where are you at? I did get a little breeze, cold breeze up here. I don't know if that's from outside. But it felt like something brushed me. Are you going to come sit on this bench and show me you're here? Hello. Where are you? If I walk by your cell, can you tell me to stop? Stop. That, that just said stop. Are you right here in this cell? Dude, did you hear it say stop? Am I in front of your cell? Here. I'm going to set this right here if this is your cell. You can go ahead and set that off, okay? If this is your cell, can you push that off or make that turn different colors? What? What time is it for you? Is it rec time? Chow time? Bedtime? You gonna come talk to me at all? Hey. Whoa. Every time I get around this cell. I'm going to set that right there. Can you come touch this? If there's any inmates up here that would like to come show themselves, can you come touch this or this? Please. Hello, are you a female? 
Are you a female spirit? Inmate? I heard there's a guy back here, like a pervy guy. Is that true? Whoa, what was that? What was that? I'm getting cold on my left arm. I feel like somebody's touching my left arm right now. Whoa, arm! Yo! Did you hear it say arm? Are you behind me? Can you tell me yes or no? So I don't know what y'all thought of that, but that was pretty wild to start off uh, at the third floor. We're gonna hit the second floor, hang out with Kyle for a little bit. All right, so here's Kyle. Oh. So I'm gonna come in here where the coal mining stuff is. We're gonna actually sit up in here for a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna see if we're gonna uh, if Kyle's gotten anything so far. What you gotten so far, Kyle? Uh, Obviously, he's been shooting out some stuff, and that trip player's been going off right here. Okay, so. Harry, members already, and Seek. Seek dirty dishes? Did you wash dishes here? Whoa. Yo. That's not us, guys. Can you step away, please? Please? Are you collecting the dirty dishes? Are you following me around? If so, can you set that off again? Okay. Well, I thought that might have been it because that keeps going off every time I come in here, but I don't know what Kyle's been getting. It's awesome. Thank um, you, Brandon. Go, 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 Sunday What's up, Brandon? I know on the third floor, I was catching some... Uh, I was catching some weird things. Um, on the third floor? Is, yeah. Is the third floor cleared out yet? Yo. Yeah, dude, that trip players. Ooh, thank you, Jennifer. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. So, I was, uh, I was catching, um, I was asking, hey, can you tell me hello, at least if you're in here, and are you in a cell? If, when I pass by your cell, can you tell me to stop? You hear stop, clear as day as I walk to the second cell. Really? Dude, it was, it was wild. What, I mean, you guys saw it, you guys were there. It's, it's nuts. Uh, so, you were talking about the wall that has a demon on it that's rumored to be Satan of a photo. Like, that was buried and unearthed so, here in Tennessee. Right? So, what I found was, it was a couple miles down the road. Yes, that's it idea. was an individual who dug it up in his yard and they ended up uh, putting it on this plate for 25 cents. I think it was 1922, she said, if I remember correctly. I may be wrong on that. Um, let me show you this really fast. The music. So this is what we're talking about. So they are considering this as a demon or a demon shaped. I mean, this is nuts. It weighs, it weighed 450 pounds. Like if you step back, this looks like a horns, right? This looks so, like a separate face. So if you guys, but look, if you tie it together, this could be two faces. Look at that. So if you guys look right here, they unearthed this, and it doesn't actually have a date, but it was 450 pounds. It's like two faces. Um, it was six feet four inches tall, and it was chained. That's wild. Beautifully chained. Beautiful chain. The fingers are perfect with long tapering nails. The hands are folded across the breast. Um, they even called it a devil. So maybe we'll try to connect with that tonight. I don't know what this has to do with the jail, but we're going to find out. It even has devil here as well. We should definitely do some SDs up in this, I think. I would agree with that. 
So, so last, like, so, so, so asking questions about this and seeing if the other person can pull it out. Right. So last time Kyle and I together, we had some crazy stuff happen at Wielden. So I'm pretty excited to work with him again. We're definitely got other stuff planned. So like I said, definitely subscribe to him and just watch what we do. It seems like something's just walking with me. I as think I, we said dirty dishes and that's now it's like they're walking to the sink and that said something about water. Tea and, water. and comfort. Are you coming in here to clean dishes? Are we messing up your routine? If so, can you step in front of that music? Do you not appreciate Zach and I in here? Yo! Whoa. That's not us, guys. Shh. Sheriff, are you here? I have So, I think this is an inmate worker or a kitchen worker. Um, and we are missing a up female there. named Jess, too, because there were females and males here. And Jess came over the obelisk. So if, the, if you're a female inmate that used to work in this kitchen, can you go ahead and set that music box? Can you step in front of the music again, please? You might have a short in that one. But that's, it's been fine. Like, that one goes on and off, that one on and off. This one's, this is, that's recent. It should, yeah. They do baseline. That's why. I, can I, you come back and so talk? Obviously it says follow, as I've been talking about following. That's crazy. So, if you're following me, can you go ahead and set that music off? What'd that say? Zinc. I'm gonna set a red pot up in that. Hallway. As we are going to stay in here, we're gonna shut the door and stay in here and set up some equipment. So here we go. We are now in this room alone. There is old equipment from the mining crash. So I'm gonna see if anything wants to come talk to me. Because and see if anything can maybe attached to that. Guys, we are now going to set up some equipment and we are going to investigate this room. The door is shut. I'm in here alone. I'm gonna see if anything is attached to the coal mining accident. Because I think these are actual uh, artifacts from that. So do we have some equipment set up? We got a cat ball, a mag light, an EMF detector, the rim pod, and a cat ball in the bathroom. So we're gonna kind of start, see if we can get some going. Um, we are on the floor with the demon. So let's see if the demon will come talk to us. Is there anything with a demon? Devil? Can you come speak to me? Is there anything demonic? Come through and talk to me, please. Is there anything we should be worried about while we're here? If so, go ahead and touch that red dot. Ooh, I just felt something cold on the back of my neck. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Are you staring at me? Or did you just touch me or come by me? If so, can you turn this flashlight on? Whoa. What did you say? Can you come through again? Yo. Go in? You want me to go in the bathroom? If you want me in the bathroom, go ahead and hit that red light. As I was changing my light, not only did the rim pipe start going off in here, the mag light was turning on and off. So if you want to do that again, can you turn that on for me? Can you turn that mag light and the flashlight on for me? If you're an inmate, a male or a female, I don't care. 
Yo. I thought I heard something back here. Can you go ahead and turn my mag light back on? The one right here? If you want me in the bathroom alone, can you go ahead and hit that red dot for me? Oh, shit. It looks like we have to go in the bathroom. All right, here we go. All right, we're in here. Can you hit that cat ball now? Can you hit that little ball right there? If you're in here with me, can you hit the red dot? The antenna on the sink? You told me you want me in here. So it said to come in here after I asked it to, and the door is shut. Well, as much as it's gonna shut. Okay. We are also here with Paranormal Trio. Hey, I'm Brandy. Alicia. I'm Will. <laughs> and they are grateful enough to invite all of us here. Very appreciative that they invited us here. And uh, their link will be down below as well. They have a YouTube channel under Paranormal Trio. Mm -hmm. yep. Also TikTok, Facebook. So if you guys want to do that, follow them. I will put it down below. We are now on the four, first floor. There is no one down here with me. As you can see, there's no one down here with me. I am by myself. Uh, there's also things that have been happening in here, they said. So we're gonna try in here in a little bit, but I wanna go to this other room where uh, they said some things have been happening, like uh, nastiness. Um, and I wanted to experience it for myself. So there's nobody in this room, nobody. And I'm gonna shut the door. Door shut. We are alone in this room. It's quiet. And uh, I want to see what happens. I didn't even see those back here. <laughs> Looks like, like a press machine or something. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Printer. All right, cool. Live scan. Oh, fingerprinting from uh, 2000. That's pretty neat. All right, guys, um, so we're gonna start in the room with a lot of artifacts, a lot of shivs, shivs. Um, after working in corrections for five years, I actually found some things just like that. Um, they're scary to find because you don't know what somebody's intentions are when it comes to that type of stuff. I'm getting a weird feeling. Look at the chess piece they made out of toilet paper. It's cool. You know, a lot of inmates, when I met them, smart. They were smart individuals. Um, they just, you know, got caught up. Did things they shouldn't have done. Oh, I'm getting a cold breeze. I'm feeling weird in here by myself. I'm getting a weird, weird feeling all around me. As soon as I said I was a CEO, I got this weird feeling all around me. Um, I could be, I could be in the presence of an inmate. So it's getting really weird. I got chills all over my body. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I'm getting chills. My leg hair, leg hairs are starting to stand up. So let's get some equipment now. Let's get this rolling. So we just turned, just uh, started. I've set out quite a bit. We have the mag light. Oh, it's getting cold in here. If somebody's in here with me, can you show me? Can you turn my flashlight back on, please? Do you not like the fact that I used to be a CEO? Because after I said that, things got a little hairy. I felt the coldness in this room. Can you show me you're here? So I'm gonna go ahead and point out some of the things. We got the Magalite uh, EMF detector or meter. We got RIMPOD, 
three cat balls and a motion light that I just set off. So we got this sitting everywhere. If somebody's in this room with me, show me please. Don't be afraid. My name is Zach. I mean you no harm and I mean you no disrespect. Are you upset? Oh, oh, whoa. Thank you. Okay. Is, can you touch any of the other ones? Can you touch any of the cat balls, the other ones? Or you can touch that one again if you want. That was crazy. Do you not like the fact I'm a CO? Or I used to be? Does that make you upset? I heard they didn't like moonshine. Or they wanted moonshine and the sheriff didn't want it in his town. Yo. Yo. Did that make you upset or is this the sheriff? Sheriff, if this is you, can you turn my flashlight back on, please? Dude, this is getting weird. It's really cold. Can you touch the red dot over here in the window, please? If this is the sheriff that was shot outside of this door right over here. Are you an inmate that was happy about the sheriff getting murdered over moonshine? You gotta talk to me a little bit. I'm gonna bring this device out. It's gonna allow you to talk to me. Come talk to me, please. Can you show me where you're at in this room? Yo! Are you an inmate? If so, can you turn on my flashlight? Thank you. Is there something you want to tell me? Can you do anything else? Can you touch that cat ball over there again? The pretty lights? Talk to me. Yo, okay, that might have been me. I think that was me. Did you make one of these shivs in here? In your cell? Nothing's coming through. If I come over there, are you going to turn on the light for me? Yo! As soon as I said that! That is nuts! Turn it off, please. Okay. Are you the sheriff? Can you knock over the flashlight or anything else? Does something in here belong to you that you're attached to? It's getting a little hard to breathe over here. As soon as I stepped over here, felt, oh, as soon as I stepped over here, I felt like something was like pushing on my, my throat. Are you push, are you affecting me? Trying to use my energy? Can you turn on the flashlight if that's what you're doing?
Here, I'm going to set this here for you to talk to me. Can you show me you're here in some way, please? What is your name? Yo. Can you do anything else? I'm gonna set the, I think I'm gonna set the rim pot over there. I'm gonna set this off over here. There you go. Can you touch that red dot? Yo. Turn the flashlight on. I'm getting a weird stomach. Or a weird stomach. I'm getting a weird feeling in my stomach right now. This is getting a little hairy in here. I feel like it might be attached to that uh, jump seat. It looks like an old jump seat. Can you touch that one time if you're attached to that jumpsuit? If that was your jumpsuit? Or can, see jumpsuit? Or can you turn on the flashlight if that was your jumpsuit? While you were here in jail? Whoa. Whoa. Did this die? Oh, okay. Go. Oh, that was fast. That might have been me. I got chills. Oh, man. Are you standing next to me? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Can you touch one of those balls again over there? What was that? It sounded like it was in the room with me. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, I just got chills everywhere. Dude, the motion light just went off behind me. Did you just do that? Yo. Did you, did you set that off or did I? Can you do that again? I felt a cold breeze on my back, and then that went off. And I thought I heard a man's voice. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna test this out. We're gonna try to debunk this. Okay, was I standing here? I might have done that. We're gonna go ahead and debunk that one, because I think I might have done that. I don't know. We'll have to rewind. Uh, let me know in the comments if you thought that went off by me or something was behind me right after I felt that cold breeze. Go. Can you can you turn my flashlight on, please? Just so I know you're here. Are you attached to something in this room? Is there something that's significant in this room while you're here? Can I get a yes or a no? No. Can you come can you come set that motion light over here on the corner? If you're a man, a, a, a yeah, a man. Can you come set this off? Walk in front walk in front of it. Or if you're the sheriff and you need some fingerprints. This is getting a little out of control. And I'm in here by myself. Female? Okay, we're gonna kind of walk out here. That's not picking me up. I'm not a thousand percent sure where I was standing 
when that went off. Yo! I don't know if that's me or not. That's a really far radius. I don't know. Are you setting that off behind me? If so, can you, can you turn that flashlight on please? Or hit the red dot? Okay, we're gonna test this out one more time. Yep, okay, that's me. Debunked. We're gonna go ahead and debunk that one. That was me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close out this session, okay? Can you at least tell me goodbye with the flashlight or the red dot? Can you tell me bye? Turn the flashlight on, please. Thank you. <laughs> what? I appreciate your time. Thank you for allowing me to speak with you today. I'm going to go now, okay? Bye. Can you turn the flashlight off? Yo. That was a crazy session. I can't believe that. Right, right on command. Yo. Did you just do that? Did you just touch that? If so, can you do it one more time, please? One more time, and I'll never, I won't ask again. Can you just, can you set that off one more time, touch that? I'll stand back. If you set that off, if you enjoyed that, can you turn the flashlight back on? Okay. We are going to end this session in this room. We're going to head out to the yard. So I hope you uh, have still stuck around because this is why. Oh, yo, yo, yo. All right, we're gonna go to the yard. Thank you. Dude, as I'm telling it, fantastic, and thank you for talking with me, the rim part starts going crazy. Are you happy that I said thank you? Whoa. Can you do that again? I, I appreciate your time with me. I know you didn't have to talk to me and you did. Can you tell me bye by hitting that one time for me? Just one time, hit that red dot please. That was nuts. I had, I had my back turned. All right, I'm gonna turn my back again while I'm cleaning up, okay? But thank you, I appreciate your time with me. You didn't have to talk to me, but you did. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you like how I'm being respectful to you? Turn out the flashlight, okay? If you, oh. Can you touch the red dot one more time? The red antenna right there? Can you touch that? Dude, I can't believe I missed that. Okay, I'm gonna pack up and get out of here, okay? That was crazy. All right guys, this door right here will lead us to the yard. I don't know if we're going to catch anything, but it's worth a shot and it's worth showing you. Yo, this is creepy. We are in the yard. This is a smaller yard, but we are in it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shut this door. We are out here alone. This is... Whoa. 
Whoa. This is, this is a little eerie. But I've been in yards before when I work corrections. I've been in yards before. It's nothing new. I don't know what these wood pieces were used for. I have no idea. So what I'm going to really have to do, because it is outside, and elements can affect your equipment, we're just going to probably use a spirit box. Here, let me show you the gel from my point of view. Look at that. We just walked right down here. Yeah, there's a dog back there. But we just walked down here to the door. This is where they would have came down for the yard. This is creepy. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to use a spirit box. We'll see if we catch anything. And if not, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this session. This will be my last thing I do for the jail. Oh, uh, actually, we're going to set out a few cat balls, too. I don't think they... I don't think that'll affect... The weather will not affect cat balls. I'm looking for cracks to sit this stuff in. So let's go ahead and get the spirit box out. We'll run a little bit. We'll run a couple minutes, and then we will go ahead and wrap this up. Is there any inmates out here? Any inmates that want to come to the yard and uh, shoot some hoops? Did you have hoops? Basketball? Can you tell me your name if you're out here? Who are you? Can you tell me your crime? What crime did you commit to get in, in jail? Can you tell me? Was it murder? Was it robbery? What was it? What was it? Were you were you guilty? Yes or no? Is there something you want to confess? Are you a male or female? You don't have to be afraid to talk to... Whoa. You say me female. I think it said female. Can you confirm you're a female? Can you tell me yes or no? What was that? All right, so if you don't understand what the SB7 was in that session, it just scans through radio frequencies at a different rate. I put it in reverse, so it, I feel like that's a better indication that you might get something. And if you get a word or whatever, it's more likely to maybe be something. That's just my opinion. Um, obviously, we didn't really catch too much uh, with the spirit box out here, which I kind of figured that. So um, with that being said, I appreciate everybody being here. I appreciate the support and if you really could go like and subscribe to the page it means a lot you watching this video means a lot uh, it all means so much it helps out the channel it helps with the travels and I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys
All right, guys, we are going to wrap it up here from the Scott County Jail. I'm super appreciative to be invited here by the Paranormal Trio. I'm glad Vince and Kyle have been able to uh, come with me. And, I mean, what a session we just had in the room next to us. That was mind-blowing. Let me know in the comments what you think of this session. And, again, I know I've said it, but make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe as uh, this is something I'm passionate about and I want to keep bringing to you guys. And I want to make it full-time. So, again, I thank you, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.